Good evening, everybody. I said I was going to try to be on by 3 o'clock. Well, actually, I had tried to be on by 1 o'clock, but things didn't work out as planned. So here I am. I am Camilla Stancy, Bridge Stancy II, the political agitator, uh, the DCN news blog, your alternative news for itch home and abroad today i just want to share a little bit with you about who i am i started out advocating for my people back in the 80s i started out uh using a typewriter moved on to a word processor some of y'all don't know what that is I then moved on to a computer in which I had access through the Black Workers for Justice located in Rocky Mount in the proximity of where the event center is today. I uh, had access to Miss Beverly May, a f deceased friend who had two twin girls in at Southwest and she started a, a, a advocacy group and um and a couple of us, she had, was getting me in, in the school system to, uh, walk the halls and to help out, uh, trying to help with our children. And this was back in the, in the, uh, 90s, late 80s, early 90s. Uh, Carolina Telephone even sponsored, gave us, uh, uh, breakfast at Abrams and Pine Top. But to, uh, make a long story short, uh, we got rolling, and I'll never forget, Miss Beverly May and I went to Nash Central Middle School. I think it was middle school. I know it was Nash Central. And and we did a presentation because they wanted to do what we were doing here in Edgecombe County. But then, <laughs> shortly after that, we were kicked out of the school system. So that uh, went away. I had my own group. Well myself and then uh, my wife when I got married uh, in 1997 but long before that before I got married I had my own little thing I was doing called peace that was people interested in enhancing our children education where I was an advocate for the youth adults teachers and whomever and um, then I seek um, I search for the Local NAACP at that time, Tarboro didn't have a branch. They um, had uh, lost their uh, membership, so I uh, found the branch in Rocky Mount where I joined back in 1992. Now, when most folks joined the NAACP, they joined because they have issues and want uh, uh, complaints and want some help. Well, I didn't have any issues. Um, I just wanted to be a voice for the people. Um, I was raised uh, to help folk. Uh, it was me, well, it was my dad, my, my mom, and I. They both worked a public job, plus we farmed. I started working on the farm when I was five years old. I was doing good in school, so um, I wanted to be uh, give back as my parents did. We raised uh, uh, food and gave way in the community. We, um, during time of bereavement, we would cook for folk and give it to them. Um, my mom and I, we was on the, uh, Pine Top Hip Hand Club and we would, uh, serve. I would cook chickens and, and, um, sometimes pigs and, 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 um, you know, for the family and, 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 and things of that sort. Um, I joined the, the uh, Edgecombe County Democratic Party which I was a precinct chair at the precinct level in Pine Tops. And by me being the youngest person, you had an age group. And uh, um, one of the, the, the vice chairs had to be the chair or the vice chair. One of the vice chairs had to be under 36. So by me being the youngest person participating, I got it by default, not because uh, they wanted me, but by default, they had no choice. The same thing, I moved on to the county level. 
I was the youngest person of tennis, so they had to uh, give me the third vice chair position again by default. They didn't want me. Someone said when I came, I used to write a lot of letters to the uh, Rocking Out Telegraph. Some people thought I even worked there because I had two or three in the paper um, talking about issues uh, two or three a week. And um, the, 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 the black folks said I was militant and they needed me at, in the party because I didn't like white folk. And I was like, oh, wait a minute now. I challenge everybody. My great granddaddy <laughs> is a white man and got uh, white uh, uh, family members and 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 and, uh, and all that good stuff. So no, I hold everybody accountable back then and and, and now. So John, uh, I, I was the third vice chair, moved up, and eventually, at one time, uh, was the intern county chair because uh, certain people had stepped down to run for office. <coughs> excuse me, or to go work for other folk and within the party. And so um, from 1998 to 1999, I was the county chair. And um, during that time, uh, people start back coming to the meeting because I will open them up. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, and um, my meetings was, was, was organized. And one reason why they were organized is because um, I was the uh, vice chair of Need Incorporated at Rocky Mountain. And there is where I met um, Mr. Millions William Hobbs. Uh, Mr. Hobbs was the chair of the Nash County Democratic Party. Ms. Hobbs was on the Rocky Mountain Human Relations Commission, so that's how I started attending the Rocky Mountain City Council meetings. But um, I don't like the rear in the wheels, so what I used to do, uh, Mr. Hobbs was, was a treasurer on the Need Incorporated Board, and what um, I did was he had his meetings before me, so what I did was uh, I learned from him. So my my means uh went smooth, uh just like his did. And so um also um I attended the Rocky Mountain Relations Commission means uh along with his wife and that was very interesting back then. And then by me going to those means I would go to the Rocky Mountain City Council meeting. But then with the good old days. But uh Mr I mean Mr. Hobbs and I was kicked off the knee board because uh Nash well Mr. Richardson at that time was the executive director. He had resigned. And so um, we were going to uh, give him his wish that time because he had resigned several times. And and we wanted to go ahead on and get it get him out of the way so we could move forward. And so um, once we did that, Nash County kicked Mr. Hobbs off the, off the knee board because he was serving under the direction of the Nash County uh, commissioners. I was serving under the Edgecombe County Commissioners, and so they kicked me off and came to the meeting that night because they knew we had the numbers to vote Mr. Uh, Richardson out so they could keep him. So that is where we stood with Need Incorporated, which today is called something else. I forgot what the name it is. Uh, recently changed. But anyway, um, I just wonder what would have happened if we had a um, uh, did what we was trying to do back then. But anyway, uh, moving on, um, the NAACP, when I joined them, I went in, I was the youngest person again. It wasn't no age group, but by me being the youngest person, they automatically uh, appointed me as the first vice chair. So I think I might start out as third vice, but I might start out as first vice. And um, I went in and, and uh, that, like I said, back in 1992, they were not having elections to elect officers. I made them start having uh, elections. And it was funny because uh, uh, they were trying to keep me, uh, well, at one point in time, they were trying to get rid of the secretary. So I ran for president just so that I could get the access to the uh, membership. Only the president, secretary, if he was running for office uh, for president, you could get the, uh, the membership. So I was trying to save the secretary. I didn't want the uh, position because I don't like the head titles. But anyway, um, when it came down to election, the folk came down from state, uh, on the state executive committee, and they were cheated. They uh, had put ballots in the box before it started. We were doing the election. People had to vote just like you do the a regular election. 
at a ballot box. But anyway, um, that I stayed in the NAACP, and then um, later, uh, in um, um, Monday night came another young person, and so um, we um, we did what we had to do. Got young people in, some some more people in, but then I moved on to um, well, like I said, I'm still a member of the NAACP life. Fully paid member for several years now, and um, but um, that was quite interesting because I had to fight the um, NAACP and also the uh, kind of Democrats because we um, it, it, it was tough being the youngest person in the group, but I stood my ground and it wasn't so much a, the means itself, but it was the exposure, the resources I got. I attended the uh, NAACP meetings in surrounding counties, Edgecombe, Wilson, Nash, Martin, same with the Democratic Party, So, I, uh, and then across the state, on the state level, state is every committee, and all these meetings, I, I, I basically was, uh, after 1996, I started recording the meetings, so I went ahead and take notes, and um, thank you to my good friend who is deceased now, Otis Connell Barnes, he uh, had given me a a video camera and so that's why I'm on the video camera today because of my good friend deceased uh, Otis Connell Barnes um, a video like I said I'll video all the means so I wouldn't have to take in the minutes and plus I can hold people accountable for their actions in the means for a long time um, I video Rocky Mount City Council means so last night I was just glad to see that they had updated <laughs> Uh, they were using video cameras in the room, but they have, it's been the first meeting I've been to in a while, I was watching online, but I was impressed with the new setup uh, in the council room, and uh, I, I was glad about it. I don't have the video to meet now, I can actually stay home and look at it online, but I did go last night to thank them for um, them supporting the uh, the Edgecombe Nash Demerger mess that uh, started out uh, through legislation and uh, through Nash County Commissioners, Robert Davis and others, um, pushing it. Um, it, it it's, it's, I, I love what uh, County Commissioner Chair Edgecombe County, um, Leonard Wiggins, said about the, uh, the merger. He said it was a bad piece of legislation, but it was, it was good for Edgecombe County. And I sure uh, uh, agree with him on that. Because I had been recording all the meetings, um, basically the public meetings and joint meetings with the school board and some meetings over in Rocky Mount with their school board and all that. So I got all that on my uh, YouTube page, Facebook page. So if anybody want to see that, you can go to it and uh, see for yourself. Uh, I think it's the best thing could have happened for the kids to uh, be taken care of by Edgecombe County. But uh, going back to uh, uh, media, it was always said that we need to get our own media in the black community. So since nobody did anything, I, like I said, started out with a typewriter, went to a word processor, went to a computer, and then um, I start. I, I went to the TV radio station and um, in Tarbert, WCPS, and uh, Johnny, I think I can't think of what his name is Johnson. Uh, I can't think of what his first name was. Just um, had the, the the radio station over here in Tarboro. I took some politicians over, and um, he saw that I I knew a lot about politics, so he asked me to start coming on doing a show. So I was doing a show on Wednesdays uh, after work, and um, the DJs they were not for it at first, but once I got up there and start doing. Um, my um I do my talk shows they began to love it and and we even went from one hour to two hours uh because they they enjoyed it the information and the people and I had uh I had basically if I didn't have all good news I um uh, um uh, information I had people calling in from across the nation not just locally Connecticut Greensboro some everywhere with good information and uh, I miss it then I went to um, I used to hang out at WHIG TV um, on the weekend when I get off work, and Ray and uh, Herb 
was um, the owners at that time, and then they separated, and Ray went over to, and started WNCR TV. So on Wednesday nights, uh, Ray gave me a, a a spot from from nine to eleven every Wednesday night. So I would go home from Rocky Mount from work and go back at night and uh, do a talk show. I never forget that uh, when I walked out one night, it was uh, a white female had called in trying to take over my show. And, and myself and George Fisher, my white friend, <laughs> brother, uh, he used to work the Bulls, but uh, Bronson, had start, Bronson Williams had started working the Bulls, so he decided he was going to let the lady stay and do what she want to do. And I said, oh, no. And uh, we got up and walked out. So that was it for my talk show on WNCR TV. Uh, you know, we, we, we had WHIG TV. And every day they was up there talking about uh, black leadership. Um, and, and it was just disgusting. So I was hoping that at some point in time we would get another uh tv station local media to um to provide news for the black community something that we are we are lacking we need some good information well, i'm so glad on today that we have uh uh teresa austin stokes who uh used to be with soul 92 back in the day i miss soul 92 too when they used to uh have express yourself we want black well different people bob errington teresa austin all of them used to be up there uh uh, express yourself. You should look forward to that. But uh, we need some good black media uh, at this point with all that's going on so we can be educated on what's going on around us, not only locally but statewide and nationally. It's a mess going on and, 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 and we also need to be able to hold uh, ourselves accountable first elect officials accountable and stop allowing folk black or white to discredit our leadership black leadership not based on facts it's okay to uh, hold folk accountable but you got to hold them accountable on the facts no matter what's reported in the media some folks uh wonder why uh when andre knight like my city council was in the media uh, uh under scrutiny through the uh, state auditor, well, I went down and, and videoed um, Andre Knight giving us um, his side of the story. I haven't seen in the document, so all I can do is go by the facts as presented. And I was just like everybody else waiting for the outcome. And um, for as far as I know and still see that uh, he has not been charged for anything, nor, uh, or, I mean, it, it's, 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 it, it, nothing has come out of it, as far as I know. So, um, you know, I I have nothing to say, um, but I do, I do want people to understand that um, I'm not Andre Boy, I'm not Ruben Boy, I'm not anybody Boy. I am my own man. I have been going to the Rocky Mountain City Council longer than any member, any council member that's on the council. The only somebody that been been there longer than I have is the attorney. I was going to the meetings before they were. I am the, uh, when it comes to the NAACP, I have been, the, the ones that attend the meetings, I am the one that has been attending the longest. As I have stated time and time again, I have no permanent friends, no permanent enemies, only permanent interests. I speak for myself. I got a mind. I can think for myself. I hold everybody accountable. And don't think when I call you out um, that it's just you. So um, you know you can you you can dip that in the bud. I'm not nobody's boy. I am my dad, Camilla Nancy Senior, boy. And my boy is Camilla Nancy the third. And fortunately, I still have my dad, so I'm his boy until uh, one of us go. So you can cut out the boy mess. And, and, and you don't have to send no messages to anybody saying, tell your boy anything. You got anything to tell me? Uh, tell me. I do it. I do mine publicly. And when you do stuff publicly, I address it publicly. 
Um, I, I don't, um, I send you an open letter, or either I'll talk to you, or i do, uh, just what I'm doing now, so you can get the message, so you can see for yourself. I like document it. I document stuff. So, again, I repeat, I am nobody's boy, but my daddy, boy, Camus Nancy Sr. It, it, it's just, uh, I tell you, I, I, it just bothers me how Rocky Mountain City Council has been the most transparent council from all these years. And then we have black folk who are listening to uh, racist white folk and ignorant safe Negroes uh, 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 trying to discredit them. Not only there, but other places as well. I remember when the Rocky Mountain City Council uh, didn't have a one uh, one black person, two black people, and um, um, I remember when the the uh, Edgecombe County Commissioners were majority white, and we tried to tell them get ready because Edgecombe County was going to become a black majority county, and these offices need to look like it. So today we have a black majority. Um, it's some kind of commissioners. Um, same with the school board. I used to send the, uh, attend the school board means when nobody else was there fighting for their children. Like I said, I advocated for the children, for the teachers, and whomever. And, um, got kicked out of school, uh, uh, different things, uh, because I was standing up for what's right. Um, like I said, recorded means I remember one night PTO mean that, uh, at South Edgecombe got kicked out of the school. Record the meeting and um, call the police and all that good stuff, but nothing came of it. But I got kicked out, and so when the new principal came in, he sent out a letter saying that I had every right to be in the school because that principal got gone. I got rid of several principals, and um, that principal got gone. And uh, and when the new principal came in, he said I had every right to be in that school because I hadn't done anything. I was recording the volleyball games, basketball games. Uh, going with them on school trips and all those kinds of things. Uh, being a voice, trying to be there for the young men. But, uh, and I, I had a daughter at the school at that time. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's sad that we, the people that's out here on the battlefield and been on the battlefield fighting, we get scrutinized and, 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 and all them good things. Um, but you have folk out here that haven't done anything but uh, 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 speak loud and have done nothing, they're the ones that people uh, uh, uphold. And that's the reason why come we have the issues we have in the black community today. Because nobody's speaking up, even the uh, ministerial lives or uh, uh, pastors of their own uh, 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 who may not be a part of their lives or anything. We have got to start standing up for something. Be either for or against. You, you, you're talking about, it's about the children. However, uh, I have seen you speaking out. Now I'm talking about for me, I've been out there, I've been to the meetings. Like I said, I recall them, so I know what I'm talking about. So I haven't seen these folk out there doing anything but keeping noise. Some, and some ain't keeping no noise. But when the camera and the lights come, then here we go. It's time out for a lot of foolishness. We cannot get things under control if we are not going to be uh, true to ourselves and true to others. It's time that we save our young men out here gang banging and shooting and doing all kinds of things. They are just waiting. They they want to talk to somebody, but you ain't saying nothing. So, hey, they do what they do, and 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 we talk about young folk, but what are your adults doing? Especially the church folk, you ain't saying nothing. Where's your faith? Um, we 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 want the police to solve the crimes and do all that stuff. They do what they do. They lock them up. The DA or whomever the court system let them out. But we mad with them. Yeah, we have some bad apples. But in the police department, 
but let's uh, recognize and appreciate those that are doing well. I look at uh, Sheriff uh, Clee Atkinson, uh, underpaid himself, but he was out there fighting for his deputies and staff for raises. Where were the people? I can name two or three people that was out there advocating. But when something happens with other folk, they out here advocating. I, I just don't understand. I, 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 I don't get it. But you want our law enforcement to keep us safe. Well, you need to support them. You need to stop sitting back waiting for the um, elected officials to do their uh, 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 represent. You need to go to the meetings and be accountable. It's just like on last night uh, at the city council meeting. Uh, it was an issue came up, and it was asked, did the uh, constituents know? Well, if the representative didn't let them know, that's why you need to attend the meetings or talk to your representative or either one of the representatives on the on the council to see what's going on so you can be aware. See, things happen when you are not there. If you be there, you can speak up. They have public hearings. Anybody can speak up. You don't even have to sign up. Uh, 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 um necessarily if you're just in the room so you got to stop blaming elected officials for not doing they at the end of the day you elected them so they speak um um what they feel like is best for them they may not always make the best choice but still you need to be there to to uh tell them your side so you need to get involved when it comes to uh politics I remember uh, Pine Top. I, did, I, I forgot. I left out Pine Top. I used to be, before the flood, I used to attend all the Pine Top City Council meetings. Used to be a voice for the people in Pine Top. I remember when they changed the audience when it came to uh, to mobile homes and stuff. The people there wanted me to speak for them. They were going through trying to get new mobile homes and stuff, uh, new houses. And, and uh, when the flood came, then we shut it down because I was on a another committee and, and a guy came out of Raleigh we was trying to find some uh, land around Pine Top and people wouldn't give up the land but uh, I ain't going to keep on holding you I just want to give you an update on who I am what I have done and what I will continue to do and that is basically hold people accountable for their actions and to be a voice um, sometimes I want to give up but then I have people saying uh, keep doing what you're doing. Because I recognize and understand that some folk uh, will not speak up but uh, publicly, but I get accused and credit for a lot of things that I say that I hear other folks say because they were scared to say it publicly. So I tell people, if you got something, share it with me. If it sounds good, I am going to put it out there because I'm not scared. It need to be said. So, um, I'm going to shut it down, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I try to do several lives because I found out that people, they, they're not going to read stuff. And uh, when I do the live, you can listen to it going down the highway or whatever you're doing. You don't have to see me. But um, it, it, we, we have got to start making a, taking a stand, all of us, and stand for what is right. Um, the church has got to get serious some of the things they used to do back in the day it sounded good and it might work back then but we this is a new day a new time and we got to do better because what I have found that when the black community do do better when we uh, um, uh, move forward everybody move forward and a lot of times that's the reason why the community move forward because of us I mean, look at it. Hey, who 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 uh, invented? Who did a whole lot of things? It was us. So when we understand our worth, we'll understand what we can do, and we would just unify. We don't have to agree always. I don't agree with everybody. Sometimes, uh, 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 Andre and uh, uh, some of the folk I talk to, they get mad. We go a week or two or more without speaking because. Hey, I hold everybody accountable. I say what need to be said. I don't care who it is. I don't hold no office. 
but I'm going to hold them accountable. And so uh, those new folk that are coming on board, uh, uh, some have uh, unfriended me. Well, I don't know why they didn't block me, but I guess so they can keep up and see what I'm doing. And then some have blocked me. Well, you know, I can be a help to you. Uh, 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 ask some black elected officials that I helped get elected. Ask some white elected officials that I helped get elected. And I'm talking about, I know what I had done. So, again, um, you all better get involved. I am the DCN, your alternative news source. Y'all can keep on listening to that mess out there that you're getting fed. If you're not uh, uh, following um, uh, uh, con connections um, with Teresa Austin Stokes, um, XM Radio, Joe, Joe Madison, uh, on Sunday mornings, uh, 104, FM 104.3 with Larry Hall, could, uh, talk back, um, um, Van Atkins and, uh, my good friend, can't think of his name right now, Vincent, 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 can't think of Vincent's last name, but, uh, they come on, they, they, they rotate every other Sunday at 8 o'clock, and they talk about issues across the, uh, state, and then after that, you have, uh, Reverend Al Shock. Folk, again, it's time out for a whole lot of foolishness. Let's be about uh, the business of uh, trying to make Edgecombe County, Nash County, surrounding counties a better place to live, work, and play. That's been my motto. I've been out here a long time. Like I said, I want to give, I want to quit, but I can't. Because somebody got to say it, somebody got to do it. I'm not running for anything, so I have no selfish motive. Matter of fact, when folk ask me when uh, I'm going to run for something, I tell them it's a full-time job, and I wouldn't want to run for anything until I uh, uh, was to retire from my day job. Because, see, whatever I'm doing, I put in my all in all. I don't uh, have to work the overtime I do. I volunteer to work on Saturdays, 10 hours a day during the week. But, see, <laughs> doing that helped me do what I'm doing today buying equipment to bring resources to the community so that you can see it for yourself and not just take my opinion for it. See, when I give you my opinion and and that's all you have, that's all you know. So when I video, you see the entire uh, uh, process, uh, what the other folk had to say. So uh, well, let me get out of here. I've been on long enough now. So um, y'all have a good afternoon, and if something come up, I may be back, but until the next time, maybe tomorrow, maybe the weekend, maybe the first of the week, but just know that I will be back if it's the Lord's will, and, um, you can catch me on, uh, Sunday morning when I, um, I'll be bringing forth, uh, uh, my dynamic Sunday school teacher, Trustee Nancy Wu, powerful, powerful, uh, uh, messenger Sunday school teachers, she make it plain and simple. Uh, everybody need to see it. And then, um, at 11 o'clock, my pastor will follow, uh, Anderson Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. So you all have a good evening. Again, this is the Lewis with Nancy the Second, the DCN, Nancy Communication Network, your alternative news source. I got some news, you got some news, share it with me, and I'll share it with others.